Welcome to the world of Too Close for Comfort. This 1980 TV series brings you a mix of laughter, shock, and even a few tears. So stay tuned for some funny, shocking, and touching facts in this video. Have you ever been deeply impacted by a TV series? Share your personal story in the comments below. Or tell us about the first time you tuned in to this classic sitcom. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this beloved show? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching for more insights and anecdotes about Too Close for Comfort. In the lively TV scene of the 1980s, one standout show blended comedy and family life. Too Close for Comfort, a beloved sitcom, won over viewers with its funny characters and relatable humor. Set in 1980s San Francisco, the show follows the Rush family dad Henry, mom Muriel, and daughters Jackie and Sarah. Life in their home brings lots of laughs and some serious moments too. What made the show special was its mix of funny and serious topics. It covered everything from sibling fights to work drama, connecting with viewers of all ages. One memorable part was its intro with a catchy theme song and animated characters. It set the tone for each episode's adventures. Despite its fun vibe, the show also tackled important issues like women's rights and discrimination. Overall, Too Close for Comfort is a timeless favorite, loved for its humor and heartwarming moments. It's a show that still connects with audiences today, reminding us of the appeal of classic sitcoms. Audrey and Joyce Randolph, who played neighbors Trixie in the Honeymooners sketches, had worked together before in a summer stock production of No, No, Minette. This wasn't just a coincidence, but showed their shared journey in the entertainment world. Audrey caught the attention of Universal Pictures, who once said her legs were perfect. They liked her legs so much that they insured them for $125,000 showing Audrey's charm and the glamour of Hollywood's golden age. The theme song of the series, created by Johnny Mandel, had a catchy charm like his famous work on the MASH theme song. Mandel was great at capturing a show's essence through music, and his contribution added a memorable touch to Too Close for Comfort. It's interesting how one melody can bring back memories and connect a show's story with its music. In TV history, Too Close for Comfort is a beloved classic loved for its memorable characters, funny humor, and of course, that catchy theme song. The show's lasting popularity shows the timeless appeal of good entertainment. And so, Audrey, Joyce, and the rest of the cast continue to capture audiences with their work remembered in TV history. Too Close for Comfort was a popular TV show from the 1980s. It had some well-known people working on it. One was a talented voice actor who did voices for famous cartoon characters like Serpentor in G.I. Joe and Rodimus Prime in The Transformers. He also worked on superhero cartoons in the 1960s and 1970s, voicing characters like The Flash, The Atom, and Superman, and sometimes acting as the narrator. Another important person involved with the show was an experienced actress. She had a memorable role in The Honeymooners back in 1966. She also did voices for characters like Serpentor in G.I. Joe and Rodimus Prime in The Transformers. Like the voice actor, she also worked on superhero cartoons, voicing characters such as The Flash, The Atom, and Superman, and sometimes being the narrator. Both of these people brought their skills to Too Close for Comfort, making the show better. They helped make the characters more interesting and contributed to the show's success. Following his death, he was interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Glendale, California. He served in the U.S. Navy and later pursued stand-up comedy, performing at various clubs nationwide and touring with the Kingston Trio. In a notable episode, a character named Monroe is molested by two women. The episode, titled For Every Man, There's Two Women, aired in July 1985. Monroe's boss calls his family, informing them of his absence from work as a security guard at the mall. Monroe arrives home disheveled, revealing that he was kidnapped by two women. Despite Henry's insistence on involving the police, Monroe refuses due to fear of injustice, citing his intimidation from media portrayals of rape victims. The detective advises against pressing charges, deeming Monroe a willing participant. This depiction was rare in television history, exploring a man's victimization by females. Too Close for Comfort, a television series from 1980, features notable moments in the career of its cast, including one of the characters delivering a memorable quip to Jackie Gleason's Ralph Cramden. In a scene where Ralph mentions waiting for his pot of gold, the character responds, Go for the gold, Ralph, you've already got the pot. 
Additionally, a cast member had a brief role in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, appearing as a cell guard in the film's final scenes. In this role, the actor opens a cell door for another officer, who then provides a blanket to Norman Bates. During the 1970s, another cast member served as the spokesperson for Southgate SA and appeared in various commercials broadcast on Cleveland area television and radio stations. Southgate SA is a shopping center located in Maple Heights, Ohio. These instances highlight the diverse experiences of the cast members beyond their roles in the TV series. Their involvement in iconic films and commercial endorsements adds an interesting layer to their careers. In one episode, Ted Knight wore a sweatshirt with the name and logo of an actual university. College and university students who were fans of the show began sending logo sweatshirts for him to wear on the air. From then on, he began wearing as many different sweatshirts as possible in each episode to please the fans. She lived in China for the first five years of her life because her parents were missionaries there. Until her family moved back to the U.S., Audrey spoke nothing but Chinese. Her family was visiting New York City when she was born. He was an actor, comedian, composer, singer, and author. Originally a nightclub comic and a singer for dance orchestras, he served in the U.S. Navy and joined the SCAP in 1959. His popular song compositions include Like Our Love, Lonely River, and Quiet Place. Too Close for Comfort, which aired in the 1980s, underwent a revamp for its sixth season, changing its title to The Ted Knight Show. However, when the episodes entered syndication, they reverted to the original title. The show starred Ted Knight, who had a close friendship with Gavin McLeod prior to working together on the Mary Tyler Moore show in the 1970s. Audrey Meadows, who appeared on Too Close for Comfort, had childhood nicknames with her sister Jane Meadows, with Audrey going by Sarah and Jane by Eleanor. Audrey Meadows, known for her role as Alice Cramden, faced initial rejection from Jackie Gleason due to her appearance. Determined, she sent photos portraying a different look, ultimately securing the part. Deborah Van Valkenburg, who played Jackie Rush, also starred in two cult gang warfare films The Warriors and Streets of Fire by Walter Hill. In an episode, Ted Knight's character's portrait bore a resemblance to Barry Goldwater, sparking a running joke about the likeness. Gleason acknowledged Meadows' determination, leading to her casting. Deborah Van Valkenburg's roles extended beyond the series, notably in cult classics. The series humorously referenced Ted Knight's character's resemblance to Barry Goldwater. Audrey Meadows' persistence paid off in securing her iconic role. Deborah Van Valkenburg's diverse roles showcased her talent beyond the series. The resemblance between Ted Knight's character and Barry Goldwater provided comedic material in an episode. Too Close for Comfort is a TV series that gained recognition over the years. In 2011, it earned the Rondo Award for the Monster Kid Hall of Fame at Wonderfest in Louisville, Kai. The series featured actors who had diverse backgrounds. For instance, one of the cast members had experience working as a part-time secretary before venturing into the motion picture industry. The show is notably associated with actors who left a lasting impression in the industry. One of them is best remembered for her role as Alice Cramden, wife of Ralph Cramden in The Honeymooners. This role was previously played by Pert Kilton and later by Sheila Macri. Overall, Too Close for Comfort made significant contributions to television entertainment, showcasing talented individuals from various backgrounds.